Mama. I am seventh grade of SMPT Shiba Bikriya. In this great event, please allow me to tell you the story that will inspire us. Ladies and gentlemen, proudly present the Sultan Agung Tirtaes Struggle and his son's pet trial. Let's check it out! Sultan Agung Tirtaesa is the Sultan who lived in Banten in the period 1651 until 1683 CE. One of his struggle that was no less heroic was against the Dutch because the VOC, British East India Company, implemented a trade of monopoly agreement that was detrimental to the people of Banten. One day, one of the prince of Sultan Agungitayasa, named Purbaya Prince, came to his father. Father, allow me to report that the Dutch company have located the Banten Bay. So, the traders from Arabia, China, and Europe stay away from Banten. They don't dare to answer to our land. Say Purbaya Prince. You curse, colonies! How dare! It can't be happened! Then, Sultan Agutin Tayasa ordered the people to change the VOC. He and his forge fight against the VOC. Then this is where the success of Sultan Agutin's leadership was seen. He succeeded in breaking the blockade created by the Dutch. Many ships belonging to the Dutch were damaged. Burr even says it. Of course, this back, the VOC became a memory. Hold up for dumb self! This can't be happened again! We have to do other ways to make down the kingdom of Sultan Agudir Tayasa or we will die! Say a Dutch general named General Regulam Van Hans. The Dutch, the Dutch then made a politics divided impera between Sultan Agung's and his sons, they were Purbaya Prince and Sultan Haji. The Dutch then incited Sultan Haji to reject all of his father's policies. The relationship between the Dutch company and Sultan Haji is getting closer and closer. Meanwhile, Purbaya Prince thought that his brother was influenced by the Dutch. I suspect you that you must become a Dutch henchman, don't you? Asked Rubaya Prince. What's your role, brother? What I do because I am the successor of the kingdom. The Dutch come to me because they want to make peace. Isn't it better to live in peace without war? Told Sultan Haji explain it. Hearing the explanation of Sultan Haji, Sultan Abu advised him. My son, the company is cunning. They are kind because they have a wish. If you don't change your decision back, don't blame your father for going back fighting to change them. But Sultan Haji did not understand his advice. He trusted the company more than his father. One day, the Dutch company influenced Sultan Haji to cook dinner Sultan Abu Tirtayasa. Then, Sultan Agung Tirtayasa decided to live in Strasawan Palace. He built a Karaton in Tirtayasa. This is how Sultan Abu Fat Abdul Fatah was nicknamed to Sultan Agung Tirtayasa. Sultan Abu didn't want the palace to be taken over by the company, so he burned the palace. Even though the Tirtayasa Palace was burned down, so Daragu did not stop the race change at all. In another day, Sultan Haji missed his father very much. He tried hard to get his father back to the Strasawan. And this is where the company take advantage of the situation. The company then made a trick as if Sultan Haji had sent a letter to Sultan Agung Tirtayasa asked to come to Strasawan. Then, it was really happened. Sultan Agung Tirtayasa finally came back to Surasawa. Father, please come. I miss you so much. I'll be 
conferred over my fault. I was wrong about the company, said Sultan Haji. Suddenly, in the middle of their conversation, the Dutch Khan and Arab Sultan Agu then sent him to Batavia. Sultan Agu surrendered without fight. This trap and Sultan Agu's struggle invented, first by his son's third trial. Purbaya Prince had also been erased by the company. After the arrest his father and brother, Sultan Haji always came under the Dutch company's prison. He was never given freedom, even though he was a king. Sultan Haji, who was seen at the time, left the palace and then died. Well, my friend, that is the story of Sultan Haji the Tessa struggle and his son's bad trial. So inspiring us, isn't it? Why? Because there is a moral message. To be a great leader, you must have to tell well who is your real enemy. Even there are your own family. So, this is the end. Thank you for your attention and see you in another great days. Goodbye! Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.